Here you can see that I've taken a picture of the knife that we want to create the template with. All I've done is taken the picture with my iPhone, I've emailed the picture and then imported the picture into CorelDRAW. What we're going to do is use the photograph as a template so that we can redraw the knife from scratch. First thing I need to do is I'm going to go up to Tools and I'm going to go to Object Manager, make sure that it's open, which it already is. Notice here there's a check mark. I'm going to click on the Object Manager and notice that I've got the bitmap list in my first layer. So the first time, first thing I need to do is create a new layer. On that layer, I'm just going to call it knife. And this layer will be where we actually draw the shape of the knife. The first layer holds the photograph. The second layer will hold the drawing. I can actually deactivate the, the actual picture of the knife by just clicking on the eye tool here and hiding it or I can click back on and bring it back I can actually stop the printing and if I want I can actually lock out the object typically what I'll do is I will lock out the object so now I can actually draw on that layer and again if you ever get the error message where it says operation cannot be completed it's because you're trying to draw on an inactive layer so make sure that you've got this layer selected, not layer one. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go view and I'm going to get into wireframe. I like to be in wireframe because as you can see it's it's sort of a light gray rendition of the, of the photograph and allows me to easily see as I draw. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go over to the toolbox here and I'm going to select the Bezier tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start drawing. So again, if I leave my cursor over the Bezier tool, you can see that it's now selected. And I'm just going to start drawing. And I'm going to click a bunch of lines here. And what I'm going to do here is, is really just follow the shape of the knife. And anytime there's a directional change, I'm going to try to sort of draw a line so that it it follows the direction so again we've stopped here it's in a curve and in a downward curve and now this is an upwards curve so again I want to sort of go to here there's a down there's the up go in there and then when we get over the last curve what I want to do is actually click on top of the first curve now I've got a join contour now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select the shape tool which hotkey is that which which the hotkey is F10 and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna drag select holding my left mouse button down and you notice here all my nodes are selected I'm gonna convert them to curves and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the zoom tool and I'm gonna zoom in on an area let's zoom in on the on the corner here I'm gonna select the shape tool again now what I've got here is I've actually got a bunch of curves and notice when I bring my cursor close to the line or the curve in this case you will notice how it becomes a little bit of a there's actually instead of a, a rectangle on the end there's actually sort of a curve now what I can do is if I hold the left mouse button down I can actually drag that curve so that it now is following that shape of the handle now I have a curve right here which again I can drag if I want I've got selection handles here and these handles here I can actually grab and rotate now notice this curve is a little bit too far out so we're gonna bring this a little bit closer to here I'm gonna drag out this curve out here like so and now I've actually got a pretty good rendition of the actual handle and if we move along here again you can press the H key and that becomes the hand which allows me just to sort of move along here and you can see that it's like the hand tool again I can sort of bring up this tool here this node let's just turn off our snap here I think we've got our snaps going here yeah let's turn that off 
and allow us to move that around a little bit easier. Again, here's another curve. And I'm just holding down the left mouse button so that we can move. And you can see I've got a couple of here, so I'm going to try to bring these as close as I can. And I bring this one up. This should go in a little bit into the corner here. There we go. And again, this should be here. And this one's going to be over here. Bring it down a little bit more. And again, I could just click here. And notice here, I got to bring this curve to here. Now, I need to bring another cur another node in here. And, and easiest thing to do is to just drag this, or I can double click and let's just create another node here. And we can just sort of move that node to there. And let's double click on here. And there we go. Let's bring that one up there. Let's just zoom in on this a little bit more. A little bit easier to see. Again, this curve would probably be better served as a cusp node. I'm going to convert this to a cusp node, which allows me to move this. Cusp node basically means that only one side of the curve moves. Let's bring our selection handle in here. And let's bring this one over here like so. And that's looking pretty good. Let's drag that up here. Let's bring this now. Again, I've got a little bit of a notch here, so let's double click on the line to create another node. And let's bring that up. And let's come across. Bring our shape a little bit closer. I don't really worry too much about these teeth. I'm just going to bring this across here like so. Zoom out a little bit. Let's come across here. And we can see we've got a fairly good curve right here. And this has to come down to here. And if we come across, this has to come up here like so. So let's just zoom out here. select this selection handle here and notice I let's just drag this down and drag that down and if we take a look here now you notice here that the actual line follows the shape of the knife fairly good again if I go back to enhance mode and I fill that in Let's just zoom out a little bit. There's the shape of my knife. I filled it in. Just left click on here and we'll get rid of the fill. So if I come up and I turn off the view of the, the original photograph, you notice here that I've got my knife and it's ready to cut. Now all I need to do here is make sure that it's a wire for it's a uh, hairline outline and this image will engrave to the laser machine. So I'm going to go file and I'm going to print this to the laser.